Hi everyone! I've been getting a lot of similar questions from you guys on how to become a clinical research associate or a CRA and I'm like, okay, I do have time right now so filming this for you all but before that, if you're new here, my name is Alexa I'm working in the clinical trials industry as a clinical research associate and in this video, I'll be guiding you in three steps on how to become a clinical research associate and without further ado let's get into it so the first step is for you to complete your bachelor's of science degree if you're already an undergrad student majoring in any science program, biology, chemistry, you would need to complete that first uh, because this is the minimum requirement from a lot of companies hiring in the clinical trials industry is your bachelor's degree in science. The second step is for you to enroll into a some sort of a program here in Canada, a lot of colleges and universities offer this program, the Clinical Research Graduate Certificate Program. So it's a one year program with three semesters. Two semesters, you're gonna be mostly in class or online for your classes, learning about what clinical research is. And then your last semester, that would be your internship. However, not all of them have the internship component. So when you're searching for this kind of program, you should look into it if they have that. If not, I don't recommend you enrolling because having the internship is a crucial part for you to get into the clinical trials industry to get that experience that you need so always look for certificate program that has an internship in clinical research but there are also some other companies that they would offer directly the clinical research associate programs so maybe you could look into that there are gonna be contract research organizations also private companies that are affiliated with the university or colleges that offers the clinical research program and some of them have internship I think mostly they are in US I think there's a few here in Canada that also offer that but for me I took my clinical research certificate program in one of the colleges here in Canada so that's the second step. The third step is for you to apply to those entry-level jobs. So those could be research coordinator, study coordinator, or also clinical trial assistant, project coordinator, all of those level entry role in the clinical research industry could help you to become a clinical research associate because for you to be a clinical research associate they require you two years of monitoring i know it's not gonna be that easy i saw a lot of people who would have to start working as a coordinator so that they're able to accumulate that number of years but also you're able to transfer all those skills that you have into the CRA position and if you're already a healthcare professional such as a nurse you can start off as a clinical research nurse stay for that role for a year or so and then you can start applying to contract research organization or CROs and pharmaceutical companies because a lot of them are hiring clinical research nurses as CRAs and most of them they hire them if they have oncology background so that is a, a very big plus if you're a nurse and wanting to be a CRA yes so those are the three steps that I have you need to finish first your bachelor's degree enroll into a clinical research program with internship internship is very important for you to gain that hands-on experience in the industry and then third is for you to apply any entry-level job i know it's gonna be difficult at first especially even just for an entry level but it's very rare that companies are going to hire you right away as a cra 
so that's why a lot of people will recommend you to start working as a coordinator I also forgot to mention that one of the entry-level job is also like data coordinator a lot of them also transition into a CRA role so that's another entry-level job that you could look for when you're searching everyone needs to start somewhere so even me I started as a project coordinator and worked my way up to be a CRA it's going to take a little bit of time but usually one year and a half um, should be okay already as long as you have that experience and enrolling in a clinical research program with internship will help you a lot um, for you to be a CRA so comment down below if you have any other questions on how to become a clinical research associate or if you're already working in the industry please share what your insights on how to become one on how to break into the clinical trials industry that will be great for those aspirants that we have out there and build that community as the industry is booming a lot right now and also if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate that and for those who've been supporting me thank you very much and yes that's everything i have in this video please comment like subscribe turn that notification bell all of that jazz to see the next video thank you everyone for watching bye